bussin'. How's it going? Welcome to week five of Bucks Weekly. Last weekend, the Bucks traveled to Bethel to take on the Bees and took them down 54 to 7. Andy, what do you think about the Bucks' efforts last weekend? It was just a great team performance. The offense did a really good job. Uh, the backs took advantage of the holes the offensive line created and got in for several touchdowns. And the defense did a great job holding the attack of the Bethel offense to basically nothing. Okay, Coach, how do you think your team performed against Bethel? I think we did okay. We were, you know, our effort level was pretty good. Um, you know, we had some adversity we had to overcome. We were missing a center. You know, he was out and had to replace him with, with uh, Junior. Uh, AJ played quarterback for us because uh, Jared was out, you know, a couple of days that week. But, you know, overall, I thought it was a pretty good performance. Um, you know, they're not a bad football team, so what we did uh, was pretty impressive in some ways. Okay. Uh, you have three players on this year's homecoming court. Not only are they good football players, but they're pretty good all-around competitors. Whether it's wrestling, baseball, track, how do these skills translate to the football field? No, they're all-around guys. I mean, there's good guys, too, on top of that. Uh, you know, just positive people. And, uh, you know, all, playing multi-sports is, is tremendous. I mean, I, I like our kids to, to play as many as they can because I think it, it contributes to football as it does basketball, wrestling, baseball, I mean, across the board. So, um, you know, the fact that those guys are all-around guys like that is pretty special. As you may know, this weekend is homecoming for Covington. And before we get to the game, let's go over the important stuff the dance. Now, Covington doesn't just have football players, they have some talented dancers on their team. And we challenged them with a variety of different music styles. Let's see how they did. Long time ago, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? If it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? What do you expect to see out of them this Friday night? Oh, they're going to they're come after us. I mean, th this will make their season. If they can beat us, or, you know, up till now they've struggled. Um, you know, they're going to be doing everything in their power to take it to us. And, and uh, you know, that's, that's part of, you know, being who we are and being in proximity with them uh, makes it pretty special. So we're looking forward to that. Okay, thanks, Coach. Thank you, Andy. I, uh, I haven't seen Marty and Andy since that dancing segment, and I don't know where they are, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up. This Friday night, the Bucks take on the Bradford Railroaders. Broadcast time, 7.15. Kickoff is at 7.30. Don't forget, it's homecoming night, so get there a little bit early. Check the Facebook page for updates during the game, and go to GoBucks.com for all the latest information. For Marty and Andy and Kyle, we'll see you later. Go Bucks! Yeah, <laughs> yeah,